Hi guys, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm just here still playing around with my um, Prima Ballerina uh, kit. So I've been busy making lots of embellishments. I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to complete a journal or whether I'm actually going to um, put these into a little kit and sell the kit kind of, you know, separately to the journal. But I have been kind of busy doing those. So I'm just going to pop them to one side and I just thought today I would come on and um, just flick the camera on and do some pieces with you guys. So basically what I've done is just cut out literally, oh I must stop using that word, I'm not on here for even a minute and already I've said the word literally, stop it. Right, all I've done so far is taken one of the pocket pieces from the Prima Ballerina kit and you've got a few different size ones. So I've literally just, oh, there's that word again. All I have done is cut around it and, you know, cut it out. So then what I'm going to do here is just fold it in to kind of make the pockets. Now, obviously, again, I'm just kind of doing this, trying not to get my head actually in the video. So I could do the kind of leaning down really and seeing where the um, fold lines are, but I'm, I'm trying not to kind of put my head in the video so I'm just folding over where the lines are and again I could have done with my bone folder really but um, I'm not actually too sure even where it is at the moment so in amongst my such hugely messy desk which I'm sure that lots of you can probably see but believe you me you can't see it in its entirety and oh my gosh if you could, I think you'd all be pretty horrified. So that's your pocket piece there. And then all I'm going to do is decorate it up. So I'm going to pop these to one side and then we're just going to kind of decorate it up kind of as we see fit. So what we could do is I've got a couple of roses here that are just ready for fussy cutting, you know, from where I've been working with the kit so far. So if I just kind of fussy cut one of the roses out, like that, and I mean I think I've said this before but I mean flowers are very forgiving because obviously you know you don't have to kind of be the best fussy cutter in the world because obviously the beauty of flowers is you know their petals are jaggedy, <laughs> I don't know whether that's really a word but you know, the petals are not even, they're not symmetrical, they don't have to be perfect. So, I mean, if you can kind of see that, you know, there are little bits on the card where I've kind of cut in the wrong place. But, you know, not hugely, obviously, but just slightly. But obviously, once it's cut, you cannot see that at all. So, I've just cut that out. We may or may, you know, may not decide to use it. I'm just going to cut this piece that's just kind of annoying me because it's just one one stray piece there so I've just got rid of that and then again continuing with the theme that I've been using ever since I've started kind of playing with this kit is with the vintage velvet you know for me that just really complements this kit nicely and you know I'm not saying it wouldn't look nice with the vintage photo I think it probably would but it's quite refreshing to kind of use something different actually for a change so I've just popped that there and then I'm just having a look to the side of me. I've got a little piece of lace here. So what we could do, and I've been using this lace throughout all the pieces that I've been making. So for continuity, it's nice to obviously use the same things. So we could use the piece of lace or what we could do is pop another piece on here. So we make a kind of double tuck um, spot, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to try that. I mean, as I say, you know, when I come on doing these craft with me, I really don't plan them. So it's very much trial and error. So, you know, kind of things may not necessarily look great. It may take a few different attempts and trying different things before we hit on something, you know, that's kind of pleasing to the eye. But, you know, that's part of crafting, isn't it? Is kind of playing around and finding what we what we like the look of. So it may be that this piece is completely wrong for here. It's going to pretty much take up the whole of the pocket, but let's see how that would look. So I'm just going to cut around that 
what I should have done was probably snipped into it but again sometimes when you're doing these um, process videos a you're busy chatting so you're not necessarily kind of doing things in the best ways and B you know you're kind of trying to do things slightly faster than normal so that you are um, not boring people to tears with mucking about but this this side I'll try and do it properly just to make it a bit neater oh. hence obviously kind of on the other side I just snipped around because it is obviously so much quicker so I'll just do it like that and this side here And snip the bottom off and then right so as I say you know I don't know how this is going to look it may be way too big for this pocket I mean I quite like that I think it's a shame because you're covering up the pocket itself but you know I don't necessarily you know that's not necessarily a deal breaker because um sometimes it's nice to kind of have different things going on isn't it so and obviously, you know, the beauty of these digi kits is, you know, that you can obviously just reprint extras. So, you know, just because we've covered it up on this one, you could always do another identical pocket and not cover it up. So I'm just going to ink around the edge of the pocket. I mean, it has got slight um, inking that I did kind of on the digital itself, but just to kind of add a little bit more, I'm just inking it up as well. So like that. Oops. Now it's hard to say whether I prefer it kind of like that or with the flower. I mean obviously the flower is nice because you're seeing a lot more of the pocket. Let me just see what else I've got here. I did cut this um, like a ballet advert out and I have got one of these actually in blue as well. So I'm just going to cut that one. And I've also got a round piece on this same page, so I'm just going to cut these two out. So what I might do is, um, I tear around that? Yeah, I'm going to tear around this. Okay. So kind of fussy tearing around there. going to ink that up because obviously I printed this onto white card so it's quite um, quite white obviously so I just ink that like that and then that just covers up the the white of that a little bit better and obviously you know if you printed that on kind of ivory cardstock it would look um, you know kind of softer anyway it wouldn't have that kind of white appearance in my rubbish so we could have that could have that, that side so what I'm going to do is just cut a piece of lace around the rose so that I'm not dragging that huge piece of lace around Oops. <clears throat> I mean we could have it like that that looks quite pretty and then I've also brought along just for the video um, a couple of bows and you know flowers and things like that so that we can kind of um, you know play around and see what what might look pretty so there's that I've also got this round piece so I'm just going to cut around that because maybe that you know maybe that's the piece very kind of undecided here <laughs> I'm kind of torn because um, I quite like the pocket, you know, how it looks. So it kind of seems almost a bit of a shame to be covering it up. But what I wanted to do was have 
something acting as a kind of tuck spot on the pocket. So that's why I'm kind of doing that. So just ink around the edge of this round piece. And just move that to one side. So if I would have the rose there. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the rose onto the lace piece. Now, I did bring some scrap paper to kind of lean on, and now I can't find where that is. So, let me just grab a piece from down the side. I think I've said before, these scraps of paper, I mean, they're from when I was, um, you know, studying and kind of doing uh, essays and things. So, they're from all my draft essays and things like that, that I was, um, as I was printing those out. So, yeah, they're, they're obviously several years, well, several years older, uh, old now. I was a mature student. I wasn't, um, wasn't there when I was 18. I haven't hung on to them for years and years. So don't worry. I am a hoarder, but I'm not that bad. <laughs> so there you go. But they are equally, they are about kind of five years old now. So, um, So I quite like that and then I'm just going to trim the lace a little bit and I'm just going to in fact I'll do it so as you can kind of see I'm just trimming it round you know I'm not kind of making it a circle exactly but I'm just getting rid of some of the sharper kind of looking edges so as it looks softer and what I'm going to do is kind of glue it there and then I'm going to have this just tucked in like a tag so to glue this down I'm going to actually glue it holding the tag where it would tuck if you see what I mean so, so that I know exactly where is good to glue and I'm going to for speed hot glue this like that okay so that looks really pretty now I'm just going to check that I am in frame because um that would be really mortifying if I was actually just filming all this and not actually in frame at all. So, okay. So then obviously we're going to have that in there. And what I might do for this little round, um, you know, what is now going to be a tag. I haven't coffee dyed this kit either. I am going with the kind of plain colour. You know, the, the white, the crisp, the crisp colours. As it came off the printer because... Um, I do love the coffee coffee dyed look, but just sometimes I think actually it might be nice to kind of have something in its natural state. So I've got this bow here. Now, just a moment ago, I had a white one. And now, oh no, it is. But I might prefer the white one. Yeah, the white looks really pretty, doesn't it? So all I'm going to do is glue. And again, I'm just going to hot glue it for speed. Glue the white bow on there. That's it. Now, I think that looks super cute on its own just with that little bow. I don't think it needs anything else. I'm just going to tuck that in. So that's your tag there. And then what you could do is obviously decorate it up a little bit further. So I've got this kind of gorgeous pink flower here. You could have that. Or we could have some lace trim going across somewhere. Again, what I've been doing kind of in all the embellishments I've made really so far with this kit, I've just been really using this, this lace, which this lace is just, um, you know, it's not a trim. It's a full piece of lace. It was just some, um, you know, cheap plain lace that I've managed to buy. It's not vintage or anything, but it's very versatile. I'd had some of this before in... Um, ivory and sadly I can't seem to get the ivory anymore but the white's quite nice for a change and this lace does coffee dye beautifully because I have coffee dyed the ivory before so although I haven't done that with the white since I bought it you know it, it does coffee dye nicely so I could kind of always do that so I'm going to cut that down and we could just have a piece of lace kind of here to the side 
and I might just I'm wanting to use these cute blue bows they're just off my daughter's um, little vests and I've just like cut them cut them off before I bind them so I'm not sure that goes perfectly with that maybe I won't use that maybe I will use and I'm just grabbing things that are just left laying around on the desk and obviously you know the bulk of the stuff that's really within reach just happens to go perfectly because obviously this was the last thing I was working with was this kit so let me just glue that like that and that will obviously then hold the lace in place the lace in place and I didn't glue that flower down so we'll just quickly glue that down and that's that piece so if I just bring a blank journal in, so again, you know, completely blank journal, that's how that would look on the page and then you've got your pocket up here and then you've got your little tuck spot in front with the little bow on there. Really cute and really simple. So that's that one. So that's another one to add to my pile of pieces. So let's go for another one so this time I've got this piece here and just cut around that so and again I'm just going to cut around the pocket one's a um, smaller pocket so it's really quite sweet cut that off there okay and then again you know I'm going to just roughly fold this kind of along you know the crease kind of marks on there on oops on there it's not quite straight Ugh. again don't do things on video <laughs> that's better right and then I'm just going to trim that piece there because it's uh, might just have a sharp kind of corner sticking out just kind of hold that up okay so I just take my scissors and then uh, that. oh isn't that a sweet pocket it's kind of small I don't know whether you can see that but it just looks so cute so again I'm just going to ink around that And again, I've just got this little piece of um, lace, just the scrap there. So I may use that somewhere because it's always good to, to use up the scraps, isn't it? And then um, what I might do for this one is make a little fold down kind of, um, oh God, what would you call it? Like a flip up. So I'm just having a look through my papers here that are to the side to see what paper I've got that would complement the um, the pocket nicely. So I've got these couple here which are really nice and would go quite nicely. Um, I was kind of saving this one to make a little booklet but oh it's so tricky. So tricky. Um, it's quite big to have on there. So perhaps we'll go for this one because this one, you know, it's already cut down, which is quite handy. So what we could do is kind of cut it about here 
second. I just kind of cut that down like that. And I'm going to cut it along the top. And then what we could do is kind of make a little fold out. Which let me just have a look whether I've got enough to kind of do this or not. This may, again, this may not work. You know, this is really, truly trial and error. It's, um, yeah, you see, this isn't going to work because it would be the wrong way round. So we would only be able to have a little fold up kind of going there. So I'm going to scrap that idea altogether and I'll save that for something else um, a bit later. So scrap that, <laughs> that idea altogether. We'll just decorate this pocket and then maybe we'll try and do something with that one in a minute. So literally all I'm going to do here, just going to decorate it up with a couple of flowers and um, maybe a bit of kind of Vodamonte trim or something. So let's move on. Oh, come on, come on. Right. We could use a bit of eyelash trim here that seems to have loads of um, gems stuck in it now. So now again. And I said about this in Laura's um, happy mail that she sent me. I mean, she's obviously super adventurous with the eyelash trim. I'm still very basic use with it. You know, I still find it very fiddly to work with. So I'm not kind of, um, yeah, I'm not that confident with it so far still. So that looks so pretty, doesn't it? So all I'm going to do is going to take my wet glue and I'm just going to glue the lace down. And then the eyelash trim itself, I'm just going to kind of dab on a bit of glue there to kind of hold that roughly in place. Like, ah, like that. <laughs> it's literally now stuck all over me. Ugh. Right. And then this one, just going to hot glue this because obviously that's nice and quick and it will just kind of help to hold everything in place that's obviously still drying. So, oh, it seems hotter than ever today. Right. So we've got that pocket there. Now, I mean, personally, I don't think that really needs anything else. It looks really pretty as it is. Um, you know, but you could kind of add other things if you wanted. I've still got this gorgeous diamante trim and things that I've been using around in this journal. So perhaps we could add... And I think I've said before, I always seem to use three. You know, that's my go-to number when I use kind of things like the diamante and the pearl kind of trims. I don't know why that is. You know, it just is my go-to number. So... This is on sticky back stuff, but I do always like to adhere it down as well because, um, you know, I never quite trust the adhesive to keep it stuck down in the long term. So that just looks really pretty kind of as it is. And again, I'm just going to bring the journal back, kind of show you again how that one would look. So that would look like that. And again, you know, you could always add ooh, just some pretty ruffle down the side or, you know, at the bottom or something like that. And actually, it's really quite nice being a bit smaller because sometimes the um, pockets kind of hog the whole page. So this is rather nice being kind of just a smallish sized pocket. So I'm going to pop that to one side. Now, let's bring this piece back. So we were wondering what we could do with this. I'm still wondering what we can do with it. So I'm not claiming to, to have a plan yet. So let's just have a look through some of the bits that we've got here in the, um, in the kit itself. So I'm just going to literally pull a couple of the pages in. 
So we've got this piece, which, you know, may be an ideal kind of piece to have a little fold out over. Now, the problem is with this is it's going to be, let's have a look. Because we want to have, obviously, that pretty side showing, don't we? So, therefore, it would have to be a flip from there. Or it could be a flip on the side. Let's have a look. Or we could just have it as a single. Or we could just, we could just do something completely different. Because uh, my brain doesn't appear to be kind of um, working with that right this second. Okay. <laughs> Let's move on to something else then. So, right, I've got some other pieces here that I've actually already cut out and already kind of started playing with. So here I've got another little kind of fold out, which, as you can see, I've already kind of started, you know, um, folding and kind of playing around with this. Again, I haven't decided quite how to use this yet. So, you know, again, we can kind of have a play and see what looks good on this particular piece. So what I'm going to do is just ink it up slightly. On the inside. Because as I say, I mean, I haven't copy dyed any of this. But, you know, in some ways it's quite nice to see the white, the clean, rather than the kind of vintage, dirty, <laughs> dirty kind of um, coffee dyed look all the time. So um, I'm just kind of inking this up a little bit. I'm quite loving this Victorian velvet and strangely enough, since I started using this, um, I have now seen a video with Laurie, um, Girl from the Ridge, also using this Victorian velvet. So um, yeah, it was just kind of strange because it just happened to be the same week that I did the first video using this ballerina, Prima Ballerina kit. I just happened to see her using it and I thought, oh, that's strange because I hadn't really ever seen anyone use this colour before. But it's really pretty. And as I say, I mean, I've had it for years because um, I used to use it sometimes with the card making. But I hadn't dug it out for years because, you know, I've just been using really you know, predominantly just the vintage photo. So it was kind of nice to actually get out the, the um, vintage, uh, Victorian velvet colour because, you know, it's nice to mix things up, isn't it? And kind of see a different, a different theme going on, really. Now, all I've done on this piece is I literally, where's that word again? This was one of the background pages. I've cut it down and I just folded it into kind of three pieces. Now, I haven't folded it right butt up against here. And the reason I did this was because I wasn't sure whether I was actually going to glue it down to make it more like an envelope. Um, so I thought it was best to kind of leave it with a gap to be able to put things in. So I think I'm going to do that and again I mean this is where obviously sewing would be better really but again obviously I haven't got my sewing machine here so I'm just going to glue it down which I think you know works absolutely fine anyway so I'm just going to run oh well I will if my glue works run some glue down down here and down that side and then just press that down like that. Okay. I don't know if I've got any tissue. This tissue is um not brilliant. So right, I just have to kind of go with it and I'll just have to have glue all over my hands. That doesn't bother me. Um, right, 
so we've got that piece like that and then what you could do is obviously tie some string around it or something like that as you know as you know if you watch my channel regularly I always love a bit of string um, we can obviously pop some lace kind of down the side you know we could actually pop some lace kind of going right across there that looks really good so again I'm just going to ink some of this lace up it's white and obviously the Victorian velvet it's really kind of negligible how much this even shows to be honest I mean obviously it shows on the paper but that might be more paper than lace but it does show a little bit so you know I think it's kind of worth worth doing but you know I'm not sure how much other people would necessarily agree with me but so because I haven't got my tissue I'm just having to kind of use the heel of my hand to press this down so I just kind of glue that like that there we go and then I'm just going to glue it a little bit more here and I'm just kind of mainly sticking to the parts of the lace that are kind of a bit more decorative and patterned to try and hide the glue a little bit so then I'm going to just cut that down I'm going to leave it overhanging quite a bit you know so it's not looking like it's you know flush with the edge so I mean to me that just looks gorgeous just literally <laughs> oh stop using that word right to me that looks gorgeous just how that is no literally is involved there just just as it is I mean you could have a little bit of ruffle there that looks really pretty and this is just white fabric it's some old um, dress fabric of my daughter's it was a summer dress and it had um, really gorgeous kind of pretty animals around the bottom but the dress was kind of white and she wrecked it completely by um you know playing out in the garden and at the park and things like that so i mean it's been washed so many times but still kind of the um you know it wouldn't come clean but that was quite good because it then looks a little bit vintage and then obviously when you ink it up a bit it looks kind of even better so i might just kind of pop that on there could have her there but I'm not convinced actually so let's go and have a look see if I've got some more of the rosebuds so if I again just bring this in these ones are smaller so I'm just going to again just cut one out there over the lace that looks quite nice doesn't it so again I'm just going to ink this up you know not necessarily necessarily necessary but you know just to kind of decorate it further and then I'm going to just quickly run this down again because it looks really pretty there we go so all I'm going to do is glue this kind of down the edge now I'm not trying to glue this straight I want it kind of you know rustic -y looking so what I will do is glue the glue or run the glue along the kind of stitched line like that and that way I can follow the curve the natural curve that the material or that the fabric kind of has taken so I I quite like that kind of look I'm not saying it's for everybody but I quite like it like that um, and then just finish it off down here like that so then what I'm going to do I'll just trim this down like that Oops. I'm just going to trim it slightly more because we've got kind of one of the folds so that just is looking a bit strange 
one. And then the top bit got a bit more overhang. Now I don't mind that overhanging, funnily enough. So if I sell this as a, sorry, this was um, again some that I printed on the back. Now, so if I sell this as a kit, this bit, you know, if I haven't decided to cut that off, that bit's overhanging. And so you could decide to actually trim it off yourself if you didn't like that. Personally, I think that looks kind of cool, but you know, up to you really. Right, but then I've got my flower. I'm just gonna stick that on like that. Ah, oh, how pretty does that look? And that just kind of opens out then. And you've got your envelope piece in here. Now I'll have to find a piece that's going to fit in the envelope. So hopefully one of these maybe will, but if not, then the ticket I'm pretty sure will. So, let's see. You can always trim these down slightly smaller. So, so I'm going to do that from the off because um, I can see that it's kind of too long at the moment. So we've got that piece. Now I have not made a very straight job of cutting that because I was obviously trying to cut it down so I wasn't following then the line. Let's see if that fits in there now. Not quite. So I'm just going to cut that down slightly more. <laughs> Not perfect. Hold on. And sometimes, obviously, it's just, um, you know, not great the first one or two times that you do it. But I will just trim it down slightly more because obviously we want it to be, you know, nice and easy to get in and out. Or easier anyway. We don't want it that bad. So, there we go. There we go that's better and then again what I'll do I just ink this up because you know it's not not been coffee dyed so it's otherwise just very stark on the back I'm just inking around that and I'm doing things like this because obviously again I'll forget you know once it's tucked in that pocket it won't be kind of thought of really again so you know that's why I just thought I'll quickly do it now before I do forget and what you could do is obviously round the corners because that then matches the oops, that matches the look of the envelope piece. So that's just in there like that. You could punch a thumb hole here, you know, that also would kind of make it a little bit easier to be able to grab it. So Right, I'm going to have to poke my head in here, I'm afraid, so excuse me. <laughs> now, uh, judge whether that's roughly halfway, I hope it is. Okay. So now you've got, obviously, a little thumb hole, and that just makes it slightly easier for putting your card in and out. Of there and then you could just um, I never know when to stop that's the problem I just never know when to stop so what you could do is again take here from this sheet here a little sprig of the flowers And you see, this is why the digi kits end up so huge because I'm exactly the same when doing those is that I just don't know when to stop. And so I kind of create one thing. And then as I'm kind of heading towards what I've got in mind, something else maybe evolves, you know, and then I think, oh, that one's really nice, you know. Or as I complete one, I think, oh, actually, I could do this with that. 
And so then, rather than kind of not have the original one, or the original one that I was working towards, I think, oh, well, I'll just include them both. And then, you know, they end up obviously enormous. Now, personally, I really love that. I love nothing better than when I buy something and there's tons and tons and tons of elements. Um, but I realise that, you know, maybe for some people that's a bit overwhelming and perhaps, you know, perhaps they would prefer kind of less... The less is more. Um, but, yeah, that's just... Unfortunately, that's kind of just how I am, I think, that I just don't know kind of quite when to when to call it quits so this process you know is that particular point in case isn't it because it's just playing out right in front of my eyes right now you know in the same way as it does with the digis so I've got these flowers now I've lost my little inker there it is I'm just going to ink around those because again sometimes when you fussy cut if they're looking a little bit kind of jaggedy on the edges if you just oops, just ink them it just softens that slightly now I tend to cut right to the piece I know a lot of people kind of do what's called kiss cutting which is when you kind of cut actually, I'm just gonna kind of cut that smaller which is when you cut kind of leaving a white kind of edge and I know that quite a lot of Tim Holtz um, die cut pieces come that way I do like that, um, so sometimes I do like that. I have to say, when I'm cutting, I think it's something to do with the fact that, you know, when you know you've made it, I feel horribly aware that that white edge is there. Sorry, I've got a bit much glue there, so I'm just going to dab that off to the side of me. I feel horribly aware that that white edge is there, and, um, you know, so I like to try, in the most part, going close up to the piece itself. I don't know why that is, because obviously when I buy products and they are kind of what they call kiss cut, I don't mind that at all. But I think it is just something to do with knowing that it's been bought like that, as opposed to I've done it like that, if you see what I mean. Right, again, so... All I'm going to do is finish this little piece off with a bit of diamante, just because we've been doing that in the rest. And so for me, that just finishes this off nicely. We could even have it kind of on the outside, but no, I'm going to have it there. So again, I'm just going to glue that on, you know, not 100% trusting the glue to, um, you know, the adhesive back that the gems are kind of stuck on. So we've got that gorgeous little envelope piece there. So again, I'll just bring the journal back in. Just show you how that would look. So again, you know, if that were glued down on a page, for instance, and then you've got this beautiful little tuck, which obviously is not really working here because it's not stuck into the book, but with your journaling card popped in there. Now, if I were popping this into a journal, and I have said this before, I would probably put this this way round, if that makes sense. So as you've got the kind of bulk going on the facing page, rather than this piece being on the curved bulk page. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So obviously here, it lies flat and it's kind of much more its natural place to go. And again, you could obviously glue that down in just two places as a kind of tuck spot. And then you could obviously tuck in, you know, a journaling card behind and then you've got it kind of opening out as a little kind of envelope piece. Or, you know, however you like. I mean, you could obviously just have it clipped on, page clipped onto a page. That would look super cute as well. So you've got kind of a few different options of how you could have that. I just think it's really, you know, it turned out really, really cute. So I love that. Pop that down on my pile of pieces. Now let me just see how I'm doing for time. Right, we're up to 44 minutes. So can we just quickly cram in another one? Oh, let's have a look. Uh, what should we do? Right, we've got a banner piece here. So I'm just thinking this will be nice and kind of quick. So... 
take the banner, cut the banner out. Okay, so put that into the bin. I'm just going to ink this up slightly. You know, didn't necessarily need it, but just because, um, again, you know, I've inked other pieces up, so it's kind of nice for continuity. And again, this piece really doesn't need anything much doing to it. It's, you know, it's really pretty kind of on its own. So all I'm going to do is literally, please stop saying that word, all I'm going to do is pop a teensy bit of lace at the top, just running across, so I'm just going to ink that up, like that, and just pop a bit of lace kind of like that, I can just oops, pop that down here. Stick that on, and then I'm just going to trim that off at the top, and a bit at the side, and then what we could do here, just for kind of a little bit of kind of decorative detail, going through my little tin that's here at the side, just pop on. I, I was wanting really my pearl trim and I'm not sure whether I've actually got any in here, so hold on. <clears throat> we could use this one, but this is possibly a little bit large. Well, it does look quite pretty actually. Well, perhaps we'll go for that. So I'm going to trim that down here. like that. So again what I might do is kind of stick this down in stages. So take these couple of kind of circles here and I can kind of do them a couple of circles at a time. Oh gosh. Right, there we go. Got those couple there. And do these three here. Like that. On that one. That looks really pretty. And to be honest, you know, that's all that really needs. Um, you know, it looks really pretty, kind of just literally as it is. So on here, I'm just going to cut out this ticket piece. You know, just because really this happened to be the piece that was right in front of me. So I'm just cutting around that. And then this little piece here, I might have already um, done this in a different video, so I hope I'm not kind of just now repeating, <laughs> repeating kind of what I've already done, but I kind of included these little pieces with the feet and I've kind of blurred the edges. I think they're rather nice to kind of just have, um, you know, torn out and kind of popped on the corner of a page or you know, something like that. Oh, I've got a big red blob, which doesn't look very good. Right. Um, yeah, I think they're quite nice to kind of just have on the corner of a page. So that's that one. We've got our ticket here. We'll just ink that up a bit. 
and again I'll just do the back because if we do have this kind of as a journaling card I will forget that I have not inked the back of that that's that one actually I just wonder whether we need it could have the bow oh we could have the bow on that that looks really cute actually really wanted to use these bows let me see how that looks if I kind of ink that up a bit with the red whether it takes on a kind of bit of a purpley or whether it just makes no difference I'm not sure I quite like it so uh, just going to pop that down on there like that you know and again I mean if you watch my channel quite a bit I just love nothing better than using you know what effectively would be rubbish so you know my daughter's old clothes that seems to be my main source um you know old jewelry things like that amazon packaging things like that so just again bringing the journal back in your banner piece you know super simple literally oh, stop using that word right i would just glue it here across the top as a tuck and obviously then you could just pop the ticket in here and then this little kind of ballet piece, you know, you could just have that kind of on a page like that. So simple, but such a cute little piece to just, you know, decorate a page, but leave the whole page kind of for journaling. It just adds like something with literally out of nothing, if that makes sense. So, you know, I think that's really, really cute kind of idea. So that's kind of those ideas. And obviously you could always kind of pop you know, a ruffle or something like that down the edge or down the, the bottom of the page as well. So that's just a couple of ideas with those couple of pieces there. Um, what's the time? Oh, it's 52, so I don't know whether we've actually got time to do anything else or not, really. Um, probably not a great deal of time, I have to be truthful. Well, let's just quickly go for one more thing so we'll take this round tag here you know because um, this will probably just take us up kind of to the kind of hour so and it's just lovely to be able to cram something else in isn't it but uh, you know obviously I'm aware that I haven't got so much time kind of to um, start something too big because an hour is quite a long time to take up people's time anyway. Um, so I didn't want to be here kind of taking up your entire day with one piece after another. So, um, But I had been working on the other pieces obviously kind of quietly over the last few days. And I just thought actually I'm going to switch the camera on and make some bits with you guys. Because um, it's just nice to have company isn't it? And... You know, even though you're physically not here in the room, I sometimes feel that you are. So, uh, you know, it's really nice. So on this little tag, what I might do is just take a piece of lace, probably trim that down like that. Oops. And what we could do is kind of have it actually like curled around like an actual tab or we could have it kind of just there off off to the side uh, I have got a little bow I don't know whether that will be quite right I love the theme of this um, you know the ballerinas and the really pretty girly kind of theme I mean I am drawn to girly things and uh yeah, so this is kind of, kind of up my street, really. Right, just glue this down a bit. Just so it kind of holds into place, because otherwise it's kind of tricky working with it while it's constantly moving around. So, oh gosh, come on. Stick that down like that. And then what we could do... is just take one of those flowers, 
so again this is just some of that gorgeous flower trim pop that there maybe pop some of the eyelash trim underneath that so again let's try and wind that round I mean literally this is a, as adventurous as I'm as I am as yet with the eyelash trim so um, I know it's kind of not very exciting but this is kind of as good as my skills have got so far with this so I'm going to just glue that down a bit here again just to kind of tentatively hold that in place Gosh. oh come on you see I was getting a bit ambitious there because I've if you can see I've wound it round twice whereas previously whenever I've used it I've only had it wound round once so already I'm trying to run before I can walk with with the eyelash trim oh my gosh my fingers like stuck on it now right oh come on okay right I'm not going to touch that again now I'm just going to glue this flower down with the hot glue that will hopefully kind of um, help secure that eyelash trim in place as well. So pop that down like that. Oh, how pretty does that look? And, you know, again, just super simple. And then what I might do is take, again, a kind of just a three line of three pearls and just do that now I don't know whether this will work but I'm hoping they're going to be flexible-ish and kind of just have them kind of running down or we could have them on the other side let's just check that looks pretty doesn't it so again I'm just going to run some uh, run some glue along those there we go so again I mean really simple but how pretty does that tag look you know just gorgeous doesn't it and literally took two seconds you know I mean well I think it took about five minutes but you know looks very very pretty very girly so that's another kind of piece then um, done. So I hope that you got something from this video and um, <laughs> hope that you enjoyed it. I've certainly had a lot of fun having a play today. So thank you very much for tuning in and I will see you all again next time for some more, more playing. Thanks very much then. Hope you all have a great day. Thanks. Bye.